Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Micah and today we're talking about how to get started with cloud computing. So I came across this challenge, I believe on LinkedIn, maybe a few months ago, and I'm finally getting the time to be able to dive into it the way I wanted to. So I wanna document my progress and I wanted to share this with you guys so you could get started as well. So before we get into the video, I just wanted to share a word of encouragement for all of my believers out there. So the verse of the day is Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I just wanted to share that, you know, there's a lot of things going on in this world, a lot of fear, anxiety, you know, rumors of wars, the upcoming election. People don't know exactly what's going to happen. And I just want to say that if you trust in God and put your faith in him, you don't have to worry about anything else. He's going to take care of us and he's going to give us peace when we need it the most. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so the challenge that I've been referring to this entire time is the cloud resume challenge. And you probably already figured that out by the title. But um, so it's, it covers the three major cloud platforms is GCP, AWS and Azure. And um, here, as soon as you click into the website, you get a testimonial from a Stephanie K who went from bank clerk to associate cloud engineer in three months. I mean, that's insane. And she attributes her success to this challenge. So that just gives you a basis of what of how valuable this actually is. And so this challenge is completely free. You're gonna to have to pay for the services, of course, unless you can get um, some of this stuff through the free tier, which you might be able to do. But if you eat out anytime, like once a month, you can pay for everything that you're gonna do here very easily. And there's a Discord channel. Um, there's people in there that can help you, guide you. If you get stuck with something, I'm sure they can you know, give you assistance. And this is a pretty popular cloud challenge. So you should be able to find other YouTube videos and people like myself who are willing to help you. And of course, I'll be posting videos as I progress through the different steps of the challenge as well. So look forward to those. And there's also an accompanying ebook. It's about 22 bucks. It gives you some additional tips, some bonus projects. And if you feel like supporting the author, which I highly recommend that you do, um, you know, this is, again, this is an optional purchase. You don't have to buy it. You can do everything for free, but Supporting the author is great because the value that you get from this challenge is worth way more than the 22 bucks that you'll spend on the ebook. So just something to keep in mind. All right, so let's click on take the challenge and see exactly what this challenge entails. So again, it covers the three major cloud platforms, GCP, AWS, and Azure. I know for sure that AWS and Azure has free tiers. I'm not too sure about GCP, but I'm sure they do. Um, let's click on Azure or AWS because that's the one that I'm interested in. So the only prereq that I see for this challenge is having the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification because you'll want to put that certification on the resume that you'll be building. And the actual resume will be built using HTML and then styled with CSS. So you don't have to really build this yourself. We can find some templates and then add our own resume information to it. And then we'll be uploading that resume to a static website or as a static website using an S3 bucket and then using HTTPS to secure our website. And then we'll be pointing a DNS name to our website so we can use Route 53 or any other DNS provider for it. And then building some JavaScript and it will be an incremental counter. So every time somebody visits our website, we should see that number going up. And we'll be storing that number or those retrieves or um, accesses within a database. And we're gonna use DynamoDB for this. And then instead of communicating directly between the JavaScript code and the backend database, we'll be using an API to make those uh, requests. And we'll be creating a Lambda function using a bit of Python, and that will help us with our API requests. And then we'll be building some tests for the Python code, and that kind of feeds into the CICD pipeline down below. And, but before we get to that, there's also some IAC. So everything that we've built so far, we can use or build a template for that infrastructure and we'll be able to easily destroy or create that infrastructure at will. And we'll be source controlling this whole thing. So instead of updating our backend API or front end website by making calls from our laptop, we'll be updating them automatically whenever we make change to our code. And we'll be creating a GitHub repository to store that code which will take care of the versioning or the source control for us. 
And finally, we'll be building a CICD pipeline, the back end for our back end code, the Python and our front end code, which is our website code. And at the very end of it, you want to make sure that you're making a blog post to add to your portfolio, to kind of build a way for people to know exactly what you've done. And if you're trying to get into cloud, if you're trying to get, um, you know, recognition, I guess, for your hard work, you definitely want to make a short blog post or a video about it and kind of document your journey and the things that you've learned. That way you can, again, show off what you've learned so far. And that's pretty much it. So obviously this is not directly related to cybersecurity, but as defenders, you need to know the things that we're defending. So if you don't have any knowledge of cloud and you're defending the cloud, you know, how you're doing yourself a disservice. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be documenting my progress. So feel free to join me in my journey. And if you enjoyed this video or found any value in it, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. If you have any other cloud challenges that you think will be valuable for other people out there, leave it down below in the comment section. We'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe.